standing bicep curl. I'm gonna show you a trick that I like to use with my feet as I'm placing them in position while doing my bicep curls. Often people set up in parallel with their hip, with their feet rather about hip distance apart. I like to do a staggered stance for a few reasons. Staggered stance meaning one foot slightly in front of the other. So I'm turning profile so you can kind of see that a little bit better. So in this staggered stance, I find that that helps us to create a more neutral position with our pelvis, which then allows us to be better stacked with our rib cage. If we stand parallel here, I find that a lot of times people will bicep curl and not even notice that they're thrusting their pelvis forward and kind of leaning back in order to get that weight up. When we're in a staggered stance, that allows us to take advantage of our glutes and our core and more of an effective alignment with our whole body. So that as I now curl my bicep, I feel more stable and it's much less natural to thrust my pelvis forward. So the important thing here is that as you do a set of 10 through your circuit, next time you run through your workout, make sure that you switch the feet so you're not always leading with the same side. So I'm gonna keep my right foot in front, left foot behind. I've just got a natural stance so I can have 50% of my weight in each foot. As I stand tall, I'm gonna inhale first, exhale to bring my weights up. Inhale to slowly lower all the way back down to control. As we exhale and lift, being thoughtful that our shoulders aren't rolling forward, we're also not hiking here, and we're making sure that our head doesn't thrust forward. So keeping everything in that nice neutral alignment as we lift up through the biceps and then inhale to slowly release back down.